In this activity, you will be given a water bottle and you'll be changing the amount of water in the bottle. You'll be looking at the connection between the mass of the bottle and the gravitational pull on the bottle. When you do the virtual version, you will not be on Earth. You will get the same relationship you would have on Earth, but you'll get a different graph constant. So when the program opens up, your water bottle will be on a triple beam balance. Measure the mass. And if you have trouble seeing the smallest readings on the uh, front beam, hit the zoom button. So in this example, the water bottle would have a mass of 381 grams. Once you are done getting the mass of the bottle, you just hit measure force and you measure the gravitational pull on the water bottle from the planet. In this case, you can see each of these little lines is worth 0.5, so we're at 2.5, 3, 3.5, maybe a shade over, but do your best at measuring your force gravity. Once you are done with the first level, you could drink a little bit of the water. You'll see a drop in gravity, and you'll also see a drop in mass. I would suggest doing at least five. The more you do, the better. Okay, so you can drink some water each time, get the mass, get the force, and then when you're done, create a graph with mass on the x-axis, make sure your mass is in kilograms, and the force on the y-axis. So it'll tell you here, make a graph of gravitational force in newtons, mass again in kilograms. When you get your graph, the gravitational field should be your graph constant. And then you can use that equation to figure out the force of gravity on an object you did not test. So in this case, it's asking me to find the force of gravity on a 504 gram object on that planet where the experiment was conducted. Hopefully you won't have any problem with this and when you submit your answers you will get them correct. If you do get them correct, share that with your teacher. If you get it wrong, share your work with your teacher and see if we can figure out where you went wrong. Best of luck with this activity.